Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Anyone who gets this now is set for life. What is happening inside of the stock market right now is where a lot of investors actually lose. When the stock market is pulling back, a lot of people that enter at a bad entry price end up saying that their portfolio is going inside of the red and they decide to sell and they ended up losing money in the stock market and now they call it a big gamble. But if I had a time machine and could go back in time, I would actually buy every single time that the stock market was in a recession. Back during the dot-com bubble era, back in the 2008 recession, and back when the pandemic had the stock market pullback, if I would have just went back in time and just invested while the stock market was pulling back, then I would have so, I would be filthy rich today. So why when the stock market is pulling back today, everyone is selling, but when you look back on it in the future and come back to where the stock market was pulling back, if you would have just entered into those entry points, then you will be filthy rich today. And that's why I said in this video, anyone who get these points that I'm going to talk about today is going to be set for life. So for example, here's a heat map of all of the sectors inside of the stock market in the S&P 500. So if we look at the past performance of the last month, the entire stock market has pulled back. Even Apple, even Google, even Amazon is down 27%. The only industry that is doing well is the energy sector with um, oil and gas. And it's not just the US market, guys. If we take a look at the world map, over the last month right there even the entire world is having a big pullback due to an upcoming recession now if we take a look at the s p 500 during the last pandemic dip if we take a look right here it had dropped all the way down to a 38 percent loss in a matter of just a couple of weeks guys but since the big run up on the big dip the s p 500 is actually up 118 percent so this little dip that we're seeing right here is not actually that bad we're only down 15 percent inside the stock market in the s p 500 so, so could it pull back some more waiting for the next recession yes it could it could get a lot more dangerous inside the stock market but i'm gonna give you guys some tips and strategies that you could use to survive the recession all right guys tip number one is to look at it like you're getting stocks on sale it has been ages since i've been wanting to add apple to my portfolio and it's very very hard to find it under value apple is always going to be overvalued or at value so whenever i see the opportunity to buy apple stock at an undervalued price, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and pick up shares like that. So whenever you see shares of your favorite companies that you always wanted to add to your portfolio, let's say you always wanted to add Google, but the price was too expensive. Let's say you always want to add Tesla and the price was way too expensive and Amazon, the price was still too expensive guys. So let's say Tesla pulls all the way back to 500, $400 guys. That is us buying a good quality company stock on sale so instead of looking at it like all oh, the stock market is going down i'm going to stay out the game forever no you want to go in and you want to pick up some extra shares of your favorite companies while they're actually on sale you're getting a two for one deal so when the stock market eventually do recover let's say it's not going to recover three weeks from now it's not going to recover three months from now but i could see that the u.s market 30 years from now is going to be way better than it is today so you want to play the long-term game and actually pick up more you want to invest more into the stock market while the prices are actually down then you want to invest when the prices are at the all-time high when prices are at an all-time high you pick up a couple of shares here and there but when the prices are at an all-time low that is when you go in on only good quality companies and pick up some of your favorite company stocks at a discounted price so that's going to bring us to tip number two tip number two is pick up free shares the easiest way to pick up free shares is to utilize these uh, brokerage companies one that has been supporting this channel for a while now is Webull. I'm going to leave that link down in the description. You click that, you sign up, you deposit any amount of money and you'll receive five free stocks valued up to $9,300. With those five free stocks, you could keep them inside of the portfolio and decide to use it. Or you can sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, the app Moomoo has supported this channel as well. They are also offering another five free stocks if you sign up and deposit $100. Once again, you can do the same thing. Keep that inside of your portfolio and decide to use it. Or you can sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's, it's literally free money. I'm going to leave those links down in the description. So also with the number two way, cryptocurrency also follow the stock market, guys. And if you've been skeptical of the cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, well, 
if it pulls all the way back, just like how the stock market is, you might as well go ahead and pick up a 5% of your portfolio worth of cryptocurrency and you add that inside your portfolio. And the easiest way that I buy cryptocurrency is through Coinbase. I'm gonna leave that link down in the description. You get a free $10 when you sign up and use my code that's in the description, guys. So moving on to way number three, now that we know that the stock market has been pulling back, um, cryptocurrency has been pulling back. Another tip that I use that you guys can use as well is investing into dividend aristocrats and dividend kings now dividend aristocrats are companies that are inside the s p 500 and also pay dividends dividends is where companies pay back their shareholders every single every month or quarter and if you're using apps like webull it just deposits that money back right back into your account that day dividend companies are companies that pay back money to their um, shareholders their investors as a way to thank them for investing back into that company and hopefully that they could reinvest their dividends back into that company to help that company grow but um dividends is the by far the easiest way to earn passive income you don't have to do anything at all except for own shares of these companies and every month or quarter they pay back those dividends back to their investors and that is one of my favorite strategies of investing inside the stock market now once again in order to be a dividend aristocrat not only do you have to pay dividends and be inside the s p 500 but you also have to increase your dividends for the last 25 years now this is somewhat of a safe strategy to invest while the market is in a recession because you know that you're going to have some form of income um, every single month or every single quarter from these companies that you've been investing into through the form of dividends. Now, I say that's somewhat safe. Now, by far, the safest way is investing into dividend kings. Dividend kings are companies that are inside the S&P 500, pay out dividends, and they've been increasing their dividends for the last 50 years. That means they have survived the dot-com bubble. They have survived the recession, 2008 recession. They have survived the pandemic. They, they have survived so many recessions and pandemics and depressions that they can't keep count over for the last 50 years. One of the companies that come to mind is coca-cola so uh, during a recession i love investing to coca-cola because i know that even during a recession three different recessions they was able to increase their dividend payments every single recession and every single year so this is one of my favorite ways to invest inside the stock market during the recession is investing into good quality dividend paying companies and the fourth tip i like to give you guys is the dollar cost average inside of the market don't go in just because the stock dropped five percent that you're going to go throw ten thousand dollars inside the stock market because it could pull back another five percent tomorrow or it could go up another five percent tomorrow so this is the trick of dollar cost averaging other than investing just ten thousand dollars inside the stock market at one time just because the company pulled back five percent in one day you would just invest one thousand dollars the first week if it pulls back even more the second week you invest another thousand dollars if it pulls back a little bit more the week after that you might double down and invest two thousand dollars but every time it pulled back you guys can invest a little bit more inside the stock market that way your dollar cost averaging your way down so you're not trying to time the bottom of the market instead of trying to time the bottom of the market you're just going to dollar cost your average way into the market so that way you won't feel like you're missing out you won't feel like uh it's today the bottom it's today the bottom it's today the bottom you don't have to watch the market every single day you could just dollar cost your way into the bottom of the market therefore when the market eventually recover 5 10 15 years down the line you are going to be successful inside the stock market so th those are my four tips that uh, if you learn those today you are going to be successful inside of the stock market guys hands down these strategies has been proven to work um go ahead and subscribe to this video guys because because later on this week i'm going to put out a video um top five stocks that you could buy that actually soars in a recession if you want to know what those stocks are go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit the thumbs up button um that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine and so that you don't miss out on that future video i have a lot of videos coming out soon guys if you have any other tips go ahead and drop those down in the comment section i actually love to see what strategies you guys use down in the comment section if you have already been using some of these strategies that i just talked about go ahead and let me know about that as well in the comment section i want to see which one is the best strategy that um majority of the people use but yeah guys if you guys do want to keep up with what stocks i am buying 
I'm going to leave a link to Patreon down in the comment section. Patreon will take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell the stocks. I post my option trades, my swing trades, my technical analysis in there. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day inside the Discord. So if you want to be a part of the best community of traders that have a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place with like-minded people that want to invest inside the stock market just like you, go ahead and check that link out down in the comment section. Um, don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Weeble, guys. It's literally free money. Do not miss out. That is an awesome way to get started. If you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and click that link down in the comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.